Now, some people think real gardeners can be a little fanatical, but when it comes to rose growers, well, they're the most fanatical of all. Patsy Durek may well be considered to be the queen of those rose fanatics. Patsy and her husband Ian bought Karela, the former Archbishop of Perth's home, in 1988, and have lovingly restored it and built one of Australia's most beautiful rose gardens. Well, Patsy, your garden is absolutely stunning, but I've noticed that you know the majority of the plants you've got here are all roses. How many roses have you got? We've got just under a thousand roses, wow. both this side of the road and across the road. Of course, yeah, you filled this garden up so you thought you'd buy a house over the other side of the road so you could fill that one up as well. Yes. That's all David Austin's? Yes, and a few Del Bards. Okay, so yes. the English and the French roses. Yes. Tell me, you know, with roses, you know, they're, they're obviously an inspiring plant, but what possessed you to put so many into your garden? I think the colour and the form and the fact that you have flowers really for eight months of the year mm -hmm. and they're just very good value in our climate. Speaking of flowering, they need to be stimulated. How are you doing it? Well, we deadhead constantly in this garden so that we're never without roses. So when you say deadhead, obviously the flowers are finished. It starts putting all the energy into producing seed in the, in the hip there. So you're taking that off? Yes, and aim for 40 centimetres down to an eye. Yeah. And then that in about six weeks time or five to six weeks will produce more roses. Stimulates more flowers yes. coming through. So you're getting about six good crops of roses a year. Very good. Now yes. tell me, next tip you've got, what else would you suggest people do? I think mulching is really important. Will you show some examples? Yes. So this is your mulch, Patsy. What type of mulch are you using? This is a lupin mulch, mm -hmm. and we put it on very densely because we like it to last for the full season. And you can see it's dry on the top, but nice and moist underneath. One of the things yes. that I've noticed with this is when you take a look at it, you've got a good 100 mil layer of this mulch sitting in there, so you're really keeping a lot of mulch on top of the soil. But over here at the base of the rows, it's all bowled out down to the natural sands. Yes, we do that, and then we fertilise right back on the uh, drip line. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good then for the watering. The watering's got a bowl then to go Absolutely. into. Absolutely. So it's more likely water's going to run to the roses' roots yes. than run away from, which yes, is perfect exactly. when you're in really good free-draining soils. Patsy, roses look fantastic in the garden, but they look even better in the house and a vase. What's your tips when it comes to picking them? I think if you pick them and they're just on their way to being open, if you'd like them to last a few days, mm -hmm. and really if you can aim for 40 centimetres. All right, show us what you do. So about that side. So of about blade. that, and to an eye. Uh -huh. Um, and I'll give that to you. With the, uh, the trick with these, I think, is um, as much variety as well, so that you end up with a vase full of lots of different types of colours and shapes. It's often lovely to have a variety of colours, yes. Patsy, they make the most beautiful vase, don't they? They are fantastic plants. Now, this little shop, this garden of yours has become a bit of an enterprise as well. Yes, it has, mm -hmm. and this is the entrance to the garden, to both gardens. So people can come and visit the garden. When do they get to come in? We're open every Sunday from 10 until 4.30, mm -hmm. from October through to May, and any other day by appointment. OK, so it's a chance to come and see these beautiful roses in person and talk to the expert about them at the same yes, time. Yes, yes, we're always here. Thanks for having us. Thank you.